Are you tired of guessing how to make your robot turn? Are you just plugging in a turn, a pick a random degree, and cross your fingers that your robot is gonna turn and be pointed in the correct direction? This robot right here uses the built-in yaw sensor to make perfect turns every time. I'm Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab in Greenville, South Carolina. And this week, we're gonna focus on using our yaw sensor to make precise turns. We'll even give you a resource that'll let you make a my block, which will let you repeat those turns as often as you want at any degree. Once we do that, we're going to do our mid-season check-in. We're gonna see what we're excited about, what we need to work on more, as well as how the rest of our six weeks for First Lego League Unearthed are going to go. Finally, we're gonna check the first resources page for any challenge updates. This is where the committees update building instructions, rule changes, questions that have come up more than once and share the information with everybody. We're on page eight of our engineering notebook and this is where we do our check-ins throughout the season. Our goals for this season were to learn to code a robot, complete five missions in the time limit and become Indiana Jones. And so far we've learned how to use a color sensor to detect lines. What have you learned? What have you learned in these past six weeks of your first LEGO League unearthed season? And what do we want to learn more about? At this point in week six, I know my students are ready to be able to control their robot a little bit better. We want to turn precisely. What do you want to learn more about as we complete this season? Is there an archeological question you want answered? Is there a robot skill that you'd like to learn more about? Do you want to be able to know that your robot's gonna turn the direction you want it to turn every single time on the very first try? We're gonna use the yaw sensor today. Your Spike Crime Hub has a built-in sensor that tracks rotation in 3D space. The one we care about today is called yaw, and that's rotation, left or right, like your robot spinning on the spot. Yaw is measured in degrees, just like a circle. A typical circle goes at zero to 360 degrees, the clock goes 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock, but our yaw sensor on our Spike Prime Kit goes negative 180 to 179. I've designed this circle so that you can visualize it. You can print it out and put your hub right on top of it to see it. If you want to turn clockwise, your yaw increases. To turn counterclockwise, it decreases. Now for the fun part, let's use yaw to make perfect 90 degree turns. We start this program off with our standard moving robot start blocks. That means we set the movement motors, we set one motor rotation to the size of the tire, and we set the movement speed. I'm gonna change my movement speed to about 20% because I like my robots to start off slow and then slowly go faster. The next thing we need to do is tell it to wait for one second. If you push the button on the hub, it's gonna make the robot shake and that can throw off our next block, which is set the yaw angle to zero. With the yaw angle set to zero, our robot is ready to detect if it has turned 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. We want to turn 90 degrees to the right. And the way we're gonna do that is making a zero point turn. That means one wheel is gonna go forward, one wheel is going to go backwards, and our robot is turning with the middle of the robot as the center point for that turn. To make our robot turn with a zero point turn, we need to add the more movement blocks. So down on extensions in the bottom left corner, we'll click more movement. It's the pink one, now we have some new blocks. We want this start moving at 50-50 speed. If I want my robot to turn right, I need the left wheel to be moving forward and I want the right wheel to move backwards. This is going to make our, my robot start to turn to the right. If I pushed play, my robot would just be spinning in one spot and I don't want it spinning in just one spot, I want it to stop whenever it gets to 90 degrees. So we'll use a control block called wait until We'll get an operator, wait until our yaw angle is greater than 90. And so for sensors, I grab the yaw angle and I'm gonna wait until yaw angle is greater than 90. At that point, I want my robot to stop moving. Let's have it tell us what yaw angle it ended up at. And I'm gonna actually do this two times in case I miss it on the first one. 
and I can drag this yaw angle and replace hello. <clears throat> and then whenever my robot makes the right turn, it'll also display the angle that it actually stopped at. So I push play on this one. It waits a second, it turns right, and it comes to a stop. And mine stopped at 91, maybe 95. So a perfect right angle turn. This is how you use yaw to make precise turns. Can you make changes to this code to make your robot turn left? If you can't figure it out, we have another video called Ya 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 that you can watch that's about 10 minutes long that goes through this whole process. In that video, you'll see how to turn left and right and how to make a reusable code block where all you have to do is tell your robot to turn and then put the angle. If it's a positive angle, it'll turn right. If it's a negative angle, it'll turn left. The final part of our lesson today is something you should start doing at the beginning of all of your lessons going forward. And that's check the first legoleague.org slash resources site for any guidebook and challenge updates. So we go to the website and we go to guidebook and challenge updates, click on view, and down here we're going to click on challenge updates. And this will give you a file and it'll tell you the last time they sent out any updates and it'll give you some rules explanations. So it looks like there have been four updates so far, and we're at the end of October, and it doesn't look like there's been an update in the past month, but mission three, the minecart delivery interruption, it gives you a little bit of the rule. It'll also tell you all about the topsoil clearing criteria and how to set up your mission. So, this is where they will give rules clarifications and important things that your team is going to want to know.